Welcome to battle number five of week number four of the FNF Victory Road Draft League season three. This battle is going to be pitting Sir Roland's team, which is New Era Justified, versus Lion Hug's team, which is Florida Flesh Ribbons. The Mega Pokemon are not going to appear in this battle. And then we have Z Any Gardevoir Z Attack Durant on Sir Roland's team. We have Z Any Kingdra and Z Attack Mimikyu on Lion Hug's team. Um, so let's take a look at these Pokemon here. We have the classic Rain for Lion Hugs, uh, Drizzle Politoed with Kingdra and. Uh, Armaldo utilizing Swift Swim, hitting probably on the special side and physical side respectively. We have the Cleric of Sylveon and Metagross with some bulk. And then we have Mimikyu who could sweep and clean. On Sir Roland's side, we have Volcanion who actually can take advantage of that rain. So a nice bring there. Durant kind of takes advantage of the rain with fire moves being weakened, although there's not really any fire moves coming from Lionhug's side. And then we also have Star Raptor hitting hard, Gardevoir hitting hard, Frostlass being fast. In general, uh, Sir Roland's pretty fast. Lion Hugs is fast in the rain, but outside of rain can be easily outsped by Sir Roland's, so rain will be very vital for them. And this is going to be pretty interesting. I I think that Lion Hugs is trying to adapt to the rain and play around rain they made a switch from mega swampert to mega gyarados which still benefits from rain not the quintessential rain sweeper that meta swamp mega swampert is but i think it was something that they could use in rain and outside of rain they didn't bring it this time but um yeah and gardevoir is gonna be really interesting because it could trace swift swim so looking forward to seeing how that goes because if gardevoir sw traces swift swim it outspeeds and kills kingdra so keeping metagross alive is gonna be really important for lion hugs so let's see how this goes. Really curious to see. And let's begin. In terms of leads, I'm going to say I expect Frostlass and Politoed as the leads. All right, so we see all I needed is Star Raptor, the Star Raptor, versus General Grievous, the Metagross. Metagross probably going to go for that Stealth Rock as Star Raptor. Probably not going to be able to one-hit KO Metagross, as it is quite bulky. So we see the ye yeah. I just I would be the I just word salad I don't know what I did, but Star Raptor goes for the U-turn. And Frostlass to be alone. The Frostlass comes out. Stealth Rock is indeed up on Sir Roland's side. So it looks like Edgar maybe saw a song, like is detecting that Sir Roland um, is referencing a song with his team. So Metagross actually has access to Meteor Mash and Bullet Punch, which both could be the bane of Frostlass's existence. Of course, this Frostlass is probably Sash because Frostlass likes to run Sash a lot. It would be intact if it is Sash. Um, but Metagross can easily Bullet Punch to outspeed the Destiny Bond if it does have it. We'll see if it does. Actually, Tonrak, the Politoed switches in, setting up the first instance of rain, and there's that Thunder Wave causing Politoed to be paralyzed. So Frostlass running support options as per usual. Frostlass is a very nice, fast support Pokemon. That looks like a Asking Alexandria reference. Um, and there's a Thunder Wave probably predicting a switch, but the Encore is going to cause Frostlass to uh, Thunder Wave again, 
which it already did do uh, predicting a switch, so Lionhook's probably not going to switch out then, keeping Politoed in and probably just going to go for damage. We could see Volcanion come in to absorb any of that water that Politoed does, which would be good after the um, stealth rock damage, poising Volcanion to try and sweep. Volcanion really is going to be Lionhug's worst problem. Once Armaldo goes down, if it does, that's going to be a very tough Pokemon to take down because it really, um, it, it absorbs water moves. So, and, and it is quite bulky. So not being able to use water in the rain, which is Lionhug's best offensive option, will be tough. So alone in the room, the Gardevoir comes in tracing that drizzle. And Scald is going to hit, dealing 42% to Gardevoir. So Gardevoir doesn't have Swift Swim and it's hurt by the rocks. This is going to be tough for Sir Roland if Gardevoir goes down. Transflesh, the Sylveon comes in and there's the Energy Ball. Doing a little bit of damage after Leftovers. It's only going to do 18%, so... Gardevoir is not really in its comfort zone here. Was the last. The Durant comes in though, and there's that wish going up. Durant does have the ability to Hone Claws now, but it does have to be careful if Kingdra comes in. If Kingdra comes in on that predicted Iron Head, um, Kingdra basically gets a free chance to set up, especially with that wish. I'm not sure if Durant can one hit KO Kingdra. Yeah, Kingdra does come in, Hurricane Andrew too, and the entrainment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, what a madman. So the entrainment. <laughs> the entrainment's going to completely render Kingdra um, useless every other turn. So we'll probably not see Kingdra stay in very long. I'm predicting a double switch Volcanion into perhaps Armaldo. So the Truant does not let Durant move. And there's that Surf taking Durant down. And that's the first Pokemon to go down in the battle. There is one more turn of rain. Gardevoir comes in, but it's going to trace Truant. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, Gardevoir. <laughs> What is this battle? <laughs> okay, so Sylveon comes in and the Shadow Ball hits Sylveon. <laughs> doing 20%, but Gardevoir is going to be lazy from the Truant next turn. And Kingdra has switched out. So it will regain its Swift Swim next time it comes in. In comes Drapion. In a room, the Drapion taking that Hyper Voice, which does 66%. Drapion now down to 22%. Sylveon is now at 80%, but Metagross comes in, and there's that Z move. This is going to be a Poison Z move. It's an Acid Downpour. It doesn't hit because Metagross is immune. But Metagross does have to be careful because Drapion can go for the knockoff, unless Metagross has Bullet Punch, which might be enough to take it down. Drapion does have nice defense, but... Okay, so the Earthquake does 41%, but there's that Meteor Mash taking down in a room the Drapion. Scores 4-6 now. And Sir Roland has 1 damage Pokemon, 3 Stealth Rock weak Pokemon. He... He can defog with Staraptor, but Staraptor is not really a good defogger because it just really wants to do go for damage. So in comes Frostlass to be alone. The Frostlass versus General Grievous. At 31%, General Grievous doesn't want to take a Shadow Ball. So Sylveon comes in. Sylveon being such a premier special wall for Lion Hugs, the Destiny Bond is up, so Sylveon probably won't go for damage. Probably going to set up a wish this turn. As Frostlass does not like being... Uh... What was I going to say? <laughs> I'm, I'm like clowning in this match. Maybe I have Truant right now. 
I was entrained to be true, and, and that's why my words are not so great. So there's the Thunder Wave on Trans Flesh, who is paralyzed. This is going to be good for Frostlass, who can now spam Shadow Balls to try and take down Sylveon, hoping for a special defense drop, maybe. Um, it is kind of an uphill battle. So Politoed comes in, setting up that drizzle, and there's Taunt from Frostlass. Do we know the full moveset of Frostlass now? Thunder Wave, Destiny Bond, Taunt. We don't know the last move. It could very well be Shadow Ball or Spikes. Who knows? Um, I think it's probably Shadow Ball because there's probably at least one damaging move on there. So Taunt Rack is paralyzed and taunted. Might see Volcanion come in to take advantage of the Scald. Or Frostlass might go for a Destiny Bond to try and take down Politoed. The big question is, will Scald kill Frostlass? If Rain can't be summoned anymore, that could be pretty big for Sir Roland as he really doesn't want Rain to be set up anymore. Gardevoir still can come in and trace a Swift Swim. It's at 33%, so the Rocks won't kill it, but it will be compromised. And Mimikyu does have access to Shadow Sneak. So the two thinking of the next move. Lion Hugs might be calculating to see if Frostlass dies to a Scald, not wanting to trigger Destiny Bond. I'm still surprised we haven't seen Volcanion switch in Premier switch into water type attacks. There's a Volcanion. The thing I wanted the Volcanion to come in, and there's Sylveon coming in. Rain is up for three more turns, and Sylveon is at 99%. Sylveon is paralyzed, and Volcanion will hit really hard with the Steam Eruption in the rain because it is boosted, and its special attack is generally pretty high, so Sylveon might be two hit KO'd. We'll see how much damage the Steam Eruption goes if it goes for it. It actually goes for the Earth Power, which is an interesting choice. Heal Bell heals the Paralysis from uh, both Sylveon and Politoed. And Sylveon's still at 81%. In comes Hurricane Andrew to the Kingdra. The Sludge Bomb is going to hit doing 37% and poisoning Kingdra. Kingdra now at 50%. Draco Meteor will hit pretty hard on Volcanion. It doesn't want to Surf because um, Water Absorb. This could be the time for Gardevoir to come in and try to trace a Swift Swim, but it's so risky because Sir Roland's going to have to calculate Will this thing go for the Draco Meteor so I could come in on my immunity to the Draco Meteor, or will it go for the Surf predicting me coming in? Either way, Kingdra, Surf will restore HP to Volcanion, Draco Meteor will be immune, and Gardevoir will trace Swift Swim, so either one of those scenarios will be pretty big for Sir Roland. He's just going to have to make the right prediction, and Lion Hugs is going to have to make the right prediction, maybe not going for either of those moves and instead going for a coverage move. Um, but yeah, Kingdra is pretty uncomfortable versus Volcanion uh, because it does have to go for Draco Meteor pretty much or a different move, but it won't do that much damage. So actually Sylveon comes in and Gardevoir comes in. He did want to get that Swift Swim, but it did not work. Instead, Gardevoir traced Pixelate. Gardevoir is not able to come into rocks much more. It's only at 21%. So yeah, interesting. Lion Hugs did call it out. The Moonblast is going to hit and Trans Flesh goes for the Hyper Voice that brings down Gardevoir. And Rain still has two more turns left. In comes Star Raptor.
Star Raptor still can do big damage. It probably takes down Sylveon with a double edge. Our Maldo comes in, Droid Eka. The close combat is what uh, Star Raptor goes for, lowering its defenses. Droid Eka, however, faster, but the Stone Edge misses and the close combat hits Droid Eka, taking it down. Stone Miss is named Stone Miss for a reason. Score is now 3 5. Star Raptor has its defense lowered twice. We might see Mimikyu come in to take advantage. Actually, Politoed comes in, setting in the rain again. Tonrak the Politoed. And. Close combat used again, actually. Interesting choice. 35% on the Politoed. There's the Toxic. Probably predicting that switch into Volcanion. Star Raptor might be locked into close combat. If it is, Mimikyu could come in for free. Sylveon comes in though, and there's that close combat dealing 23% to Sylveon as Star Raptor starts to take some of that poison damage. Close combat's going to bring it down to 18%. Transflesh now has a wish up. If it has protect, then uh, close combat might not even take down depending on the roll. So Roland's going to need a high roll to take down Sylveon with close combat. And Sylveon very well might have Protect. This might be a choice band, um, Star Raptor. Its defenses are so low, it's used close combat I think four or five times. It was locked into Brave Bird. That would have done massive damage to Politoed. Might might have even taken it out. But it would have done big damage to itself in the process. Something's telling me that Sylveon doesn't have protect because maybe there's a calculation going on. Sir Roland saying this is the longest that Frostlass has made it in a league match. Usually it's his lead. Who comes in? I think it's a logical choice to bring Mimikyu in. Star Raptor does seem to be choice, otherwise, why would it continue to use close combat? And there's a close combat, taking down Trans Flesh. Star Raptor is going to go down to 15% with the toxic damage. This is a time for Mimikyu to come in and set up Sword Dance, but actually Kingdra is the one who comes in. 50% and poisoned Star Raptor at 15%. It will not live one more turn of poison. Will Star Raptor go first to take down Kingdra with it? I do think it's Choice Banded though. Okay, so Kingdra goes for the Draco Meteor. That's going to bring Star Raptor down. Kingdra now at 38%, and Frostlass comes in at 51%. The rain is still up for three more turns. Hurricane Andrew 2 might be choice specs. Probably why it used Draco Meteor. Um, to call out the Volcanion Water Absorb switch in. But now that it's at 0.5 special attack, might switch out or or stay in, who knows. It can come in on Volcanion again later, so it actually might just stay in and try to take out Frostlass while the rain is still up. I think even a minus two Draco Meteor would be enough to do it, but who knows, we shall see. Frostlass probably outsped by Kingdra in the rain, most likely. 
If Frostlass has Shadow Ball and Metagross lacks Bullet Punch and it survives uh, Kingdra, the only thing bringing Frostlass down is Mimikyu. And there's the Draco Meteor, but it actually misses. And the Ice Beam is going to take Hurricane Andrew 2 down. It's actually Ice Beam that Frostlass has instead of Shadow Ball. Frostlass hanging on at 51%. The score is now 2-3. In comes Florida Child, the Mimikyu. A Shadow Sneak might be enough to take down the... Uh, low defense Frostlass. There's a Destiny Bond, but Mimikyu probably going to go for the Swords Dance. Actually, it doesn't. It goes for the Shadow Ball and down. Florida Child goes along with Frostlass. The score is now 1 2. Volcanion going to be compromised by rocks, but it is a very solid Pokemon versus these final two that Lion Hugs has. And Steam Eruption might be enough to take him down. If Metagross goes first with the Earthquake, then Volcanion might go down. But yeah, this uh, Politoed and Metagross have their their days numbered if they can't take down Volcanion. Rain is still up for one more turn. Once the Rain goes down, Metagross won't be protected from fire moves. It's pretty low HP, so I think even in the rain, a flamethrower might be enough to take it out. At the very least, an earth power. Sludge bomb bomb's gonna bring Tonrak down to 8%, and the toxic is used on Volcanion. The regular poison from the sludge bomb's gonna take out Politoed. And Volcanion now at 45% and poison. General Grievous comes out. Who is faster is the big question. I believe Metagross outspeeds. 262 versus... Uh, no, it's a speed tie. If none of them are invested, this is a speed tie, and it all comes down to luck. If one of them is invested, that investment has saved them. What will it be? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is intense. Well, if Metagross ha doesn't have Earthquake, then I think Metagross just loses this. And Volcanion goes first takes down Metagross, and it is a 1-0 victory for, so, for Sir Roland and New Era Justified over Lion Hugs and Florida Flesh Ribbons. What a match. Wow. Somehow, New Era Justified was able to turn it around and win it. Um, very interesting match indeed. <laughs> yeah. Heart was pumping there at the end, um, but very good match, and... Um, yeah, tune in for some more matches coming up. That was really intense. And I'll see you then. This is Noel from Hypno Slumber Party. And never mind. Why did I say never mind? And I'll see you then. I've just been clouding. I don't know why I said never mind. Okay. <laughs> My brain's not working right now. Anyways, I will see you next time. This is Noel from Hypno Slumber Party. And do mind, or never mind, or whatever, whatever mind you want to make. Make up your mind to watch more matches of Victory Road. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'll see you later, and tune into the next matches.